It's over. I am getting caught. I'm getting caught. You could see pee dropping out of my pain. I can't trust Africans. I can't even trust myself. It's your girl graciously grace and I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you with a story time. What up? So today is another collaboration with a girl named Tommy Tutti. You guys should definitely check her out because beneath that beautiful chest of yours, I'm back with that sentence. Bruh. Beneath that beautiful chest of yours, you have a heart and you want her to succeed and me to succeed and us to succeed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bruh. Before we get this video started, you guys already know I don't really like long videos, but then today is an exception, so I want you guys to sit tight and laugh at my pain. Today I'm about to explain you guys my top three most embarrassing stories that ever happened in my life. At the end of those stories, I want you guys to comment below which story is more embarrassing. You, yes, I'm talking to you. You always watch my videos and don't comment. Today is an exception. Let's get in the video. I just want to hide myself just by thinking about how embarrassing I embarrass myself. <laughs> the first story I'm about to explain you guys happened in November 2016. So my friends and I were invited to a birthday party which started at 8 p.m. But then, you know us girls, so we took time and you know, we wanted to look so pretty, you know, stay. <laughs> so fast forward, we went to the party late because we're Africans <clears throat> and Africans always come late. I can't trust Africans. I can't even trust myself. Bruh. See, if you tell me a party starts at 8, that's at 8, I'm going to start getting ready. <laughs> Despite the fact that we arrived late to the party, the party was still late. Like hey. But during the party, the DJ made a mistake by playing my favorite song. Hey. So I rushed towards the dance floor, all eyes on me. Obviously, I kill it. Everyone is like, eh, hey. and I'm like, yeah, yeah. 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 The next thing I know, I see this guy, you know, he comes out of nowhere, he tries to dance with me, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know what, fuck it, it's a party, you know, and the alcohol started kicking and kicking, you know, so I'm like, And next thing I know, the guy, you know, he touches my hair, and I'm like, mm-mm, pull up. He didn't know I wasn't wearing a wig. No one knew I was wearing a wig. If you guys don't know how I feel about wigs, you guys should definitely check my video how I feel about wigs. So when he started touching my hair, my wig started pulling off, off, off. By the time that I realized he was pulling my wig, the wig was already right here. Oh! So I had to like catch the wig real quick, place it properly. You don't understand the stress I was feeling. Panic attack! And I saw my roommate from far and I gave her the look like, Girl, I need your help. Come back me up. It's going down. So she came. She held my wig. Bruh. I was embarrassed. Are you guys still watching? Thank you guys for being a keeper because right now I'm about to explain you guys' story too. So the second story I'm about to explain you guys happened in Paris. It was in 2010. Yeah. So in 2010, my mom and I we went to Paris together. I remember that day we were shopping, whatever. And then I told my mom that I needed to pee. And my mom was like, why didn't you pee at the hotel before we left? And I was like, no. Nah. And he felt like peeing, you know. So she directed me towards the hotel. Stupid me. I don't know why I lost myself. The worst part was I was 11. I didn't have any phone. I didn't know how to call my mom. I don't know what happened. Someone Suddenly, I, I peed on Someone myself. Bro. Now, it was in the middle of the Many street. And people were literally stalking me. You could see pee dropping out of my pen. All those little girls were laughing at me. <laughs> me the old accordion man. Anyways, people took pictures. So right after I was dumping on myself, I turned left, saw the hotel. And I was like, so all this time, all this time I was near that freaky hotel. So that day, my pants were literally ruined. My mom found out she killed me. She killed me. You guys already know I have an African mother, so. Bruh. The third story I'm about to explain to you guys happened when I was in fifth grade. I am not gonna lie, I used to steal. I'm not proud of my past, but I am going to assume it because without my past, I wouldn't be the person I am today. The story happened in fifth grade, and that day we had a field trip to the embassy. So before leaving the embassy, they gave us those little cute bags, and then inside the bags, there were like notepads, you know, pens, like glitter, all those cute stuff. I don't want anyone to judge me because of my past. The past is in the past, and I'm no more that person, okay? Like, stealing is no more in my blood and I am so proud. When I think about the story, I just find myself so dumb. What was I saying? Oh, 
was I? Anyway, so when we got back, we had to go get lunch. And before getting lunch, everyone dropped their backpacks to go in class. That day, I don't know what happened in my brain. I was like, you know what? Let me just steal all my friends, you know? All I wanted was to know the pad. I didn't want the video bro. Ten minutes before school ended, I hear some girls saying, Oh my god, I lost my notepad. Hey, can you check in your bubble? <sighs> When I heard that, my heart started racing 10 times. I was like, oh shit, okay, it's over. I am getting caught, I'm getting caught. And the teacher came, you know, he started inspecting everyone's backpack. And then when he came to mine, so he took my bag, you know, he saw all the notepads. Yo! It was embarrassing. I wanted to just hide myself, like, for the whole year, I really suffered that incident. I was called up a stealer, you know, everyone was afraid to put stuff around me. It was really embarrassing. I don't even know how I survived. What I learned from that story is that even if you think you're sneak, you're not sneak. So the best way is not to steal. Because if someone steals from you, you wouldn't like it. So why would you steal from others? I am so proud of the woman I became. Thank you beautiful people for watching me every single day. Thank you for showing love. And thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch this video. Don't forget to check out Tommy Two Tits because she's amazing. Between the three stories I said, which story do you think is more embarrassing? Please, I want you guys to comment below and let me know. And if you guys want more embarrassing stories, I am your girl. I have like tons. So it was your girl graciously grace and remember you haven't been gracious enough until you have thumbed up and subscribed so don't forget to show some love and I'll catch you next time. Peace out. <laughs>